Hey everyone, Rhino here. I got something a little fun in the mail today and I wanna share it with you. It is the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Dragon Dagger from Hasbro. I have the original, I have the Legacy Bandai Edition, and uh, now I have this one. And I feel like it's ex it's getting excessive, but uh, I did see in the review of this one, it does something really cool. So I figured I'll do my first unboxing video. Let's take a closer look at some of the packaging and then I'm gonna open this bad boy up and compare it to the other versions. All right, first and foremost, let's take a look at the box. So I really actually enjoy this box. I like the like the white as a nice contrast. I like the outline of the Dragon Zord back here. And then, of course, it's got the signature Lightning Collection art of the Green Ranger here. And then let's take a look at the top. You gotta look at that. We got the side, which has all the fun warnings on it and everything. Uh, and then here's the back that kind of just says everything it does. It's got you know, so all the flute plays. You can remix the tune. This is some sort of musical instrument. Um, there's a glow effect, there's a stand and everything. I guess that's what it's gonna look like when it's on the stand, music notes and all. Um, but that's kind of it. But what's kind of neat here about this whole thing is it flips up like this. So it's really nice. You can see the dagger on full display in here. You can already tell right now it's got some differences between the original and uh, the legacy one and now this one. Uh, for one, the coin on this is not shiny. And it's been shiny sh shiny on every version, every version, excuse me, I'm getting tug tied now, uh, that we've had. But um, I like this little flap here. You got a classic look at the, the show, which hilarious is if you look here, you can see that's like classic Cream Ranger, right? And then if you look here, it's like it's like he had the silver stripe from Fighting Spirit, and then they like were like, no, that's kind of a lighting effect, or we're fading it up. But you can also tell it's Fighting Spirit because of how round like the edges of the suit are. I don't hate this suit. There's just something about it that makes him look a little thicker than he normally did, but I don't care. I like the thick boys, so. That's fine. I love this art of the Dragon Zord on here though. I think that's really cool. Without even opening it, I can see there's some texture in here. Some texture on that green, the blade. But uh, I guess I should just open this up. I don't know where the stand is. I'm assuming it's like in the back half of this box or something. That's kind of why I got it, because it came with the stand. So uh, let's open it up and take a look. I think it just slides out of here tape on the side. There's some directions. So it does have the stand in here because I can see directions about the stand. So this is all about how to operate the toy. All right, let's do this. So one thing about this box right away is that, you know, you saw it in the other part, but if you look here, it's got, um, I don't know what these are called, but they're like little plastic things that hold it in place. So once you open it, you can't put it back in the box to store it. And um, that's a shame because that's what I do with my legacy one. I keep it keep it in the box for right now until I had somewhere cool to display it. But I'm going to take this one out in a little bit. I've taken it out before. I'm, I'm not a purist about leaving stuff in the boxes. I got it because I want to see it and I want to... I want to play with it. It looks like maybe if you just leave the plastic in in place on the ends here, it can kind of stay in here, but I want to set the whole thing up to see what it looks like. So I'm doing it. So first thing out of the box, you notice it's all made out of plastic. Um, this end tip is actually pretty, it's not really flimsy, which is nice. It, um, it reminds me, it's probably about the same as the original toy, but um, I like, there's like weathered, uh, weathered areas on the blade where it looks like this has been used. This is supposed to feel like a little more ancient, I guess. Um, there is a nice attention to detail on the butt here. There's like the dragon foot and some of the symbols that are on his uh, shield, which is nice because those aren't on any of the other versions of this. It looks pretty good. Now it does take two AA batteries that I'm gonna put in here and then uh, we can try it out and see what the noises are like. But before I do that, I just wanna show size comparison because it looks like it's probably bigger. I can't tell. So I have the, uh, the Legacy Edition one here. This is definitely a lot lighter than this one. This one is so heavy. Not so, so heavy, but this one 
feels off balance because if you see here, this like middle flute part is like really big and that adds a lot of weight to it. And I'll say this, this one's a little big, but not, not, not bad. This one always felt bulky. Like I know people would use like cosplay stuff, but this one felt like it was too heavy to be worn on the costume. This one feels like this would, this would work a lot better than this in terms of that. But I will, I do have to say the Bandai legacy one is nice because it is, I, it says on the box, it's got 24 karat gold plating on it. So it really has a nice shiny material to it. Uh, and I'll get a close up of all this stuff in a second, but all the buttons are, uh, well, the buttons aren't metal, but some a lot of a lot of pieces on it are metal, and the blades probably made out of the same same kind of stiff material. And this one's like clean and shiny, so it's about about the same size. The handle is a little thinner, and then this is the one that if you were growing up in the '90s or maybe you got later, this is that one. This is the uh, the original 1994. This one was. This is the one from when I was a kid. I always thought this was a really cool tool because this still feels like the size of what it is but i guess it this is a little more accurate the thing about the the one from the 94 era is it still has at least the shiny coin so even though the coloring is a lot more consistent on this it doesn't i wish the coin was shiny like this one that's all I don't want to nitpick or anything like that because again, it's got it's got a nice attention to detail. So here are the three daggers. Um, this is the original, this is the lightning, and this is the legacy. And there's the ruler for scale, just so you can see the different size differences here. Um, as you can see, I think that the lightning is just a little bit longer than legacy, but other than that, they're about the same size. But like I said, the lightning is a little thinner than the than the legacy As you can see here there's some scoring along the blade which i feel like is a nice touch I, it might not be for everybody i've seen some people say it feels like it looks dirty or like he's stuck into the ground but i think it makes it look like used and ancient and i'm going to say that like a million times in this video and then i just want to show you the other side i like that the detail goes onto the back as well it's all matte too which is interesting Um, let me put the batteries in and let's see what it does. Okay, first of all, I want to see this effect. Okay, I'm not going to lie, that's pretty awesome. Because one of my favorite scenes is when, like, Jason is running and he's holding this and the power sword and he, like, turns it on. That's a really cool effect. Oh, and, like, the blade is glowing on the side, too. It says to turn the bottom. Is it lighting up when I push it? Okay, so if you push the buttons. I am not musically inclined. But it, it does give you what buttons to press. Like, hold on. If you press all three. So it's. Hold on. It gives me like notes in the directions about. You have. The Dragon's Ord Call. And then that, that one. And then you have the, the end sound. I guess that's kind of cool that it actually functions as like sort of a, an instrument. I see. Okay. You hold this button down and then Okay, let's check out the second one.
think I didn't put fresh batteries in here. Let's check out the third one. So you just, I guess you just don't really know. So this, this is unlocked. From what I can tell, there's not an off button. So you don't want to be like, touching these randomly, I guess. I guess there's like three modes. There's the Dragon Dagger mode, which is like unlocked and you play the music yourself. And then there is the pre-recorded music that gives you three different versions. And then there's the remix of a theme song. So I I guess if you're, if it's gonna be an instrument, you might as well lean into the instrument, right? I don't hate it. Honestly, I don't hate one of those remixes. So I'm not against it. Let's check out the stand. Straightforward. So the stand comes in three pieces. You have the main base and then these two pieces that are going to hold the dagger. That's pretty cool. That's how it holds it. Pretty nice. I don't hate it. I don't hate it, honestly. I know I know some people have said, oh, it feels cheap or it feels whatever. It, it doesn't really feel cheap. It feels like a toy. So it doesn't quite feel like... It says it's 18 plus. I don't, I don't know... I don't know why it's that, but it doesn't feel like the super duper like collectors. This is the version, the metal version they would have in the show if they were a real character. So this version is $60. Um, it does come with the stand. It does all that stuff that I showed you. I feel like if you're somebody who already has like the legacy version and you're you're just like, whatever, I don't know if you're going to want to pay $60 for another one. I feel like uh, if I didn't have the legacy one, I'd be pretty happy with this one. And I got this one on sale for around like 50 bucks. So I really, I don't think it's overpriced, to be honest with you. I feel like it's like right at what I would pay for it, especially because it comes with the cool stand. I, I The light up effect, I'm sorry, I can't get over. I feel like it looks really, really cool. So I think... The great part about it, though, is that I don't have any way to display my legacy one without uh, making a uh, something to hang it with or something like that. This one's great because you can just pop it on the shelf next to your other stuff. So I really, really appreciate that. The stand is just kind of plastic and it's whatever, but honestly, it's nice. This is a nice display piece, I think. Overall, I'm going to give it a, a, a positive review. I feel like it was pretty good. Um, I do hate that I have so many dragon daggers, to be honest with you, because the Green Ranger is not even my favorite ranger. Um, but I really was interested in seeing how this came out. And the first, you know, of their um, lightning collection Hasbro has done in, in forms of like weapons or role play stuff. So, um, I mean, other than the helmets. So I'm curious to see where they go next. I know the Morpher is on its way and can already be found in some Walmarts if you're looking for that. That is a Walmart exclusive. Or you can order it, pre-order it online. This works for what it is, for the size that it is, the price that it is. And like I said, this is some nice detail, but I'm sure some people, it's not going to be for everybody, but... Overall, I enjoy it. So that is it. That is my review of the Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection Dragon Dagger. And you'll have to let me know if you got it, what you think about it. Like I said, this was $60. Um, I was able to get it on sale at GameStop for $50. Bucks. So um, if you don't think it's worth $60, maybe watch for a sale at some point. Um, this is not an exclusive to anywhere, I don't believe. So you should be able to find it on Amazon, GameStop, Hasbro Pulse. You can head over there and uh, check it out. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. And I'll see you next time with another video. Bye, everyone.